obviously had to make a video because we got the season three trailer today and it is phenomenal. Um, I took some time after work to make some notes, so I'm ready to talk about it. I didn't do a reaction video. I had to work today. I had an event that I had to go table, so I wasn't like near Wi-Fi or anything. And so, you know, I pulled my car over. It came out while I was driving. I pulled my car over and watched it and, <laughs> you know, then internally screamed for like four hours while I was at an event and then came home and watched it 150 more times. Um, so now I'm ready to talk about it. Yeah, let's watch it first together and then we'll discuss. All right, so three, two, one, play. Charlie. I have thoughts about this. Is when nothing makes sense anymore. Starting sixth form, thinking about uni options, and it's all just Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, I'm really worried about you. I've noticed you've been really stressed. I know that you started when you put your hand there, all my dysphoria just hit me. Oh, it's such a shame. Our friendship group is just all over the place. I worry about you all the time. I hate feeling like this. I don't know what to do now. I really love him. My heart. Sometimes people need more support than one person can give. You can be there for him, standing together, even when it's hard. That's love, darling. We just want to be there for you. You have to let us. Intimacy is trusting someone enough to let go of some control. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm so excited for Darcy's hair. Right now, I mean, maybe you'll get some good advice. Or maybe not. <laughs> I wanted to admit that I love him. Nick? Yeah. My babies. What can I do for you? Uh, uh me, no. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Relatable, oh Nick. Relatable. <laughs> okay, so obviously, me being me, I went frame by frame <laughs> as soon as I could. And right away, I'm like, Paris Squad Beach Day! I'm so excited. I think those are going to be some really fun scenes. There's some hard ones in there, but I think we're going to get a lot of shenanigans, and I'm excited for the beach shenanigans. Um, we get a little poke, a little boop, boop on Charlie. I love when that happens in the comics. They do a lot of, like, little poking, and I'm glad that we got one worked in this season. Let's talk about the high Charlie. <laughs> because why is it so sad? It's... His tone is so sad, and it I have no choice but to believe that is an audio clip from a hospital phone call. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it, it does not sound like this is from the beach. It sounds really sad, and I that's just where my brain goes, and I am terrified to find out. But at the end of that little clip when they smile, like we get them smiling at each other, I just melt. I just melt. So then we cut to Tao's bedroom. And we see Tao and Elle and Isaac all squished on Tao's bed. And Elle and Tao are looking like all cuddly. And Isaac is looking very uncomfortable. And like, God. Come here, buddy. Get my pocket. Bring your books. I'll get you some pizza. <laughs> and I just feel for him here because it sucks. It just fucking sucks. It's uncomfortable and awkward. Then we get this like little really quick clip of them like partying they all have like are clinking their drinks together 
Imogen's in this bright ass pink outfit. Love it. I'm not condoning underage drinking, but I'm excited for the party scenes. I think that they'll be fun. I think that seeing the actors play them will be fun to watch. And I'm looking forward to watching them get a little (laughs) shwasty. So then we get this shot of them seeing universities. They're like out at a campus. And I just have one thing. I wish, I wish (laughs) when I was a teenager that I had a team of stylists that were dressing me every day. Because what the hell? They all look so good all the time. And I, like, I could never. I I can't even dress that cute now, let alone when I was a teenager. Image's entire outfit is freaking adorable. From head to toe, adorable. And then Elle has on this, like, burgundy and teal type situation. It's, I'm obsessed with it. I just, I need the stylist team to dress me every day. Now, please. (laughs) Then we get the scene of Tara, like, ranting um, to Nick on the beach. Corey's facial expressions when she's playing Tara, like, freaking out about something, they hit for me every single time. So good. (laughs) Then we get the scene uh, with the food at the beach, kind of like spliced with a scene in the bedroom where Nick is telling Charlie that he's worried about him. And, you know, when they're on the beach, we see the like anxiety bubble creeping in around him. And Nick is like watching Charlie intently. This stuff, it's, this is going to destroy me this season. And I'm not ready to handle it. So I guess buckle up. We're just going to take it one episode at a time. <laughs> then we get the scene of Tao and El making out. And I we just got the podcast episode with Will and Yaz yesterday. And I just want to reiterate that I think that this is so important. And I'm excited to see how Alice has written it. Um, both Tao and Elle's storyline this season. Um, hearing Yaz talk about it made me really emotional. And I'm super excited to see like her portrayal of Elle throughout this journey also this crop like crocheted sweater that she's got on i need it i need it right now (laughs) we get isaac looking sad and charlie looking sad and this shot of charlie like holding his knees up against his door is one that always gets me in the comics and it like this is this is absolutely worse (laughs) for me than the comics so i am not looking forward to how much it's gonna this season's really truly gonna destroy me i i am i'm starting to like prepare for that a little bit (laughs) then we get this shot of tara and darcy and is this gonna be darcy's new room at her grand's i guess um i love it there is a like big giant hamburger pillow there's a dinosaur pillow as well as light up dinosaur lights on the headboard of the bed chef's kiss um there's also like a rainbow hell yeah hand on the nightstand that i i dig that as well so i'm excited to like see more of this room and like darcy's personality and they look really upset in this scene so i'm not happy about that but i assume it's going to be a heavy season for literally all of them including us so then we get imogen and sahar speaking of looking upset. Okay. (laughs) Uh, It's not looking good. (laughs) I know that like we really leaned into that ship. Uh, But I will say that that was definitely uh, more important for Alyssa than me. I, I love it. I support it. But I'm not nearly as attached to it, I think, as Alyssa is. I don't know. Here's my speculation. I think that maybe Imogen thinks that she has feelings for Sahar and maybe tries it and it doesn't work out. Because, like, here's the thing. Imogen is, like, passionate, okay? She feels something and she runs with it. And so, like, we're coming hot off the heels of Nick and Charlie coming out and being all gooey in public in front of everybody. We got Tao and Elle getting together. Tara and Darcy have always been together. So she's like surrounded by couples, surrounded by queer couples also. 
and just like queer people in general. And so I feel like maybe she mixes up friendship feelings with romantic feelings and like maybe there will be a parallel between like Imogen Sahar and Isaac and James where they kiss and like the feelings aren't really there. I still am rooting for a Demi storyline with her. So maybe this is her like finding out that okay, no, I'm I am straight, but there's still like something off and like maybe we'll explore that. I don't know. Just like throwing out my my two cents on possible storylines. <laughs> then we get <laughs> Tori and Charlie at the drum set hugging. And the parallel there kills me. Kills me. It's so sad. <laughs> I love it and hate it at the same time. Um, but it just goes to show that like no matter what's going on, Tori's always going to be in his corner. She's always going to be there to support him. Just like as they grow and go through different things, she'll always be there to give him a hug when he's working through some shit at his drums. Then we get them on the couch immediately following with Henry the Pug. So cute. Very excited to meet him. The one highlight of this little clip, <laughs> I'm grasping onto it. Uh, Tori says she worries about him all the time. Mm, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I'm really not ready for the holiday stuff. That's the holiday stuff is going to get rough. Like the holidays are already hard for people. So yeah, the holidays are going to be heavy. And then send help because we're on the art room floor. All right, y'all. When the when the season three leaks happened, this was the first thing, the first leak that I was exposed to. This! I was so mad. I opened TikTok only to post our video. And, you know, TikTok, like, recently has been, it opens with an ad, right? So, like, when you open it up, it's, like, an ad for something. And I opened it up. And instead of there being an ad... There was this scene <laughs> and you know immediately my brain's like heartstopper took me about 2.5 seconds <laughs> before i realized and i just like screamed and threw my phone across the room and i was so mad and it's been weeks you guys i've been internally sobbing for weeks about this and i wasn't i can't i can't talk to anybody about it it's a leak so i was just holding on to it upset all on my own. <laughs> I'm glad that I can share that now. <laughs> One thing I did like about it though is that there are blue and yellow bins next to them and I liked that touch. But mostly I just wanted to cry. Speaking of crying, it cuts to Nick crying in Menorca. I cannot handle his little upset face. It hurts me. A lot. <laughs> And like the, the tear that falls, I, you know, you know what? I'm glad that with all the like little extra clips and the podcast clips and the trailer that we're like micro dosing <laughs> all of these like really heavy scenes to like prepare ourselves for it because I need it. I need, <laughs> I need the preparation. I don't think I realized I needed it until today when I was watching the trailer and was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and then we get Charlie driving away in the car to go to the hospital. Nick is in his season one jacket. <laughs> I cannot handle it. Charlie looking out the window at him. I just, y'all, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And then we have Haley Atwell giving us a phenomenal monologue. And I am loving what I'm seeing of Nick's aunt. I think this is the perfect way to get around the fact that Olivia Coleman couldn't join this season. This is a great way to like still include those lines and, you know, that piece of Nick's story because it's so important and so iconic and I think that Haley delivers these lines with such like emotion and 
I just, I'm excited to see the full scene. I know it's going to destroy me, but I'm excited to see the full scene. I think that it's, I think that we're going to be blown away by the acting as we are every freaking season. And so like, we get, we cut away from that for this like little montage while we hear the rest of, well, bits of the monologue. And we get like Nick and Charlie holding hands outside of Charlie's house, presumably about to go tell Jane and Julio about Charlie's eating disorder. We get Tao and Elle hanging out on maybe a movie night. It looks like there's like a projector behind them. They would be projector people. (laughs) We get Charlie and Isaac being adorable. And then um, we get Charlie's hands over Nick's eyes, taking him for a surprise at the zoo. I love that. I love that it's a surprise. It's so good. I can't wait to see just like how excited He is to be at the zoo. Also love the parallel to the season two opener with their hands being flipped. Then we kind of get the rest of these like all super quick succession. Um, A good batch of them. So we got like Nick and Charlie on the beach. That's not a new scene. We got that. I think in the first podcast episode, Charlie and Tori hugging on the Ferris wheel at the summer fate. Excited. We get Nick and his Christmas sweater telling Charlie to let them help. Charlie is not looking happy. Then we get, then we get Tara dancing and Darcy watching and it is so good. I love this shot with one of the quotes on the screen and we get to see Nick and Charlie walking hand in hand into the ocean. So good. And then they're like holding hands in bed and it's so sweet. And then Charlie's seeing Jeff, and I'm really excited to see the therapy scenes. Again, I know they're going to destroy me, but I'm excited to see, like, how they do it. And to see, like, just Jeff come to life, basically. Uh, Then we get Darcy getting her hair cut, and Nick and Charlie getting cozy in bed, cut to sex ed class. I can't wait to see how they handle the sex ed talk. I want to see both the girls talking on the uni trip to Nick, and then... I'm curious if we'll get any of this the lines that Sarah gives him in the car because obviously she's not here, but I'm just curious if anyone else will deliver those lines because uh, I think all of the talk that they have in the comics around sex ed is really important and felt well done to me. Then we get them kissing on the rugby field. Kissing on the rugby field! I'm excited to see that. That is adorable. I'm guessing that's probably what the scene where they're like all over each other and the rugby lads are like, are they being more touchy-feely? So that'll be fun to see. Then cut back to the beach. Charlie telling Isaac that he wants to tell Nick he loves him. And then we get the shower scene. Okay, let's talk about this. I wasn't sure how they were going to do this, if they were going to try to keep it as accurate as possible, or if they were going to try to, like, I don't know, tone down some of the shirtlessness. It's hard stopper, but it seems like they're going all in this season, so. Um, it seems really accurate based on this trailer. Down to Nelly, like, being there, being his little therapy support dog, which is one of my favorite touches, is that she follows him when he goes in the comics to tell him. Um, also, Charlie's wearing the jumper that Nick had on whenever they first see each other and hug after Nick came out on Instagram. <laughs> I love that. I can't wait to see this scene come to life. I think that Kit's going to kill the comedic timing. Um, it's such a funny scene in the comics. And yeah, I'm, I'm ready to see it. Let me get the band performing. I'm so excited for that. And they said that Layla's going to sing like the full song. So that's really fun that we'll get like a full performance from them. Uh, Then we get Nick and Charlie shirtless. I know that we have confirmation that they get to say fuck in this season. And so I was super excited to see this little clip of them because it has to be the I love you and you are so fucking hot scene, which is beautifully done. And I just am really excited that it gets to be included. Then we get to see Charlie blowing out his birthday cake candles. This is a super cute birthday cake. It's blue and yellow with stars on it. Do we think Nick made it? I hope so. (laughs) I don't think we've gotten enough of Nick baking, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, We just have, what, the cupcakes at the sleepover, right? He didn't bake in season one. So I think it'd be super cute if he baked this cake for Charlie for his birthday. 
New Year's Eve kiss. Adorable. Perfect. And then title card. Let's talk title card. Oof. The gut punch that this was and still is every time I watch it. It is so dark. And we just have like, you know, it starts out with the one like yellow leaf. (laughs) Y'all. My heart dropped. (laughs) Even though I know it's going to be a dark season. I was just like, not the title card being dark. Also, not only is it like really dark, it looks like it has like the anxiety bubble animation on like on the background of it. Ouch. I just... I had a reaction to it. And then to top it all off, we get Jonathan freaking Bailey. So good. So good. I love Nick's by Panic in this scene. This is such a cute little mini comic. I've always adored it. So I am stoked to see it like be brought to life. I do. I, I hope Nick still trips because that's my favorite bit. I don't know why, but I love that he just like trips all over himself trying to leave in the comic. So I really, really want some of that physical comedy to be included. <laughs> all right. Overall, A plus, 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 plus. This might be my favorite trailer that we've gotten of the three seasons. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I need to rewatch. Let me, I need to rewatch the other trailers, but it covered so much ground, you know, like there was a lot in that trailer. I had three and a half pages of notes <laughs> and I like that. It's like, it, it really was cut like a roller coaster, like up and down and up and down and up and down. And I feel like that's how the whole season is going to feel. I am not ready for it, but also I need it right now. So if anybody has, you know, the ability to fast forward us, except Agatha comes out tomorrow. So let's watch some of that first and then, but if we fast forward, we can binge it because they're doing weekly friggin' releases. We could, we could just fast forward (laughs) y'all. That's my thoughts on the trailer. I can't wait for October the 3rd. I'll see y'all next week for the final installment of the official podcast. So thanks for hanging out and I'll see y'all then. Bye.